What up guys and welcome back to the Fit Man Cook Kitchen. So if you followed me on social media long enough, then you know that one of my guilty pleasures is collecting sneakers. I have a bad habit that I don't want any help with whatsoever. I am an unapologetic sneakerhead. I've got over 250 sneakers and counting, but I do give a large portion of them away each year just so I could go ahead and buy some more than the next year. So today's food video is actually a kicks and grub video whereby I'm gonna show you some shoes that I really, really love, the shoes of the month, and cook up a recipe based off those shoes, based off the essence, based off the colors of those shoes, just to show you how you can draw inspiration from just about anywhere. So the shoes that I'll be working with this time are going to be the Air Max 90 Biotechs, and these are a beauty. So what I love about these are just the colors. When I saw these online and I saw them in the store, I knew that I had to have them immediately. I love this colorway. Now these are actually a re-release of the original 2002 Biotechs and they were low tops, they're flat tops. So when I saw these shoes in the store, I knew immediately that I wanted to do a recipe on them. And I'll be honest with you, the first food that came to mind was a curry because I saw this really vibrant goldish orange color right here and I just said mm, that would be a wonderful curry dish and you know how sometimes curry they just put like these beautiful toppings on there that are really colorful they'll put some basil they'll put purple basil on there lots of shrimp popping out maybe they'll have some peppers on there it's just a beautiful picturesque dish and I was like you know what I've done that so many times but the other thought I had when I saw these shoes was candy they reminded me of starburst <laughs> or some skittles right you remember those growing up so i thought why don't i create a recipe that's all about candy nature's candy so today but the easiest way to do that would be to create a smoothie bowl it's really easy it's delicious it's great to customize and it teaches you a little bit more about food because we're going to try to match the colors of the shoe with nature's candy so that way everything can come together now the trick in creating recipes based off inspiration is that at the end of the day you got to make sure it tastes good okay and you got to make sure that it's calorie conscious and i think that we got both of those concepts nailed down today. So if you're ready to roll up your sleeves for some kicks and grub, then let's get started. All right guys, so first thing that we're gonna do is create the base of our Nature's Candy Smoothie Bowl. So what I chose for the color for this one was going to be down here at the sole is this really vibrant yellow, almost like a, this is almost like an orange goldish color. Now, to get that color, we're going to be using some frozen mango. We're gonna add this to our blender. We need something to also make it really nice and creamy or to make it a lot more like voluminous. Now, you can use a banana to do that. You could also use some canned pumpkin. But that's gonna add, add to the calories and the sugar calories. But here is another hack. If you are trying to make this a lot more calorie conscious and you don't want to have the sugar too high, then swap out the banana for some peeled cucumber. But I'm gonna use the banana because I'm gonna eat this one. And if you want, maybe you can just add in like one or two pieces, but it's not necessary. Just use one or the other. And now to really exaggerate that yellow golden color of the sole, we're going to put in some turmeric. Now you can use some powdered turmeric, which you can find really easily in your grocery store, or you can actually get some real turmeric root. So I'm just gonna add in a piece of turmeric root. I'm gonna pour in some light coconut milk, or you can use some water. Keep this plant strong, pop the top, and then blend it up. And then pour in some more liquid. That way it's smooth as on out. We're gonna add it to our bowl, to our smoothie bowl. Woof, beautiful. All right, so the smoothie bowl is already complete. Now we're just gonna add the toppings and the toppings should correspond to the colors on the shoe. So for the blue here, I've got some really vibrant blueberries. Uh, for the red, we're gonna use some raspberries. For the green here, I selected some kiwi, but another really good one that you could add in here would be chunks of avocado. And for the purple, this is probably one of the hardest colors, I selected some blackberries. For the white right here on the sole, we're going to use some coconut. You can also use some shaved coconut, some fresh coconut. And then for the black piece, I've got some sesame seeds for a little bit of crunch. Now for the little bit of brown here, that is the Nike swoosh. Now you could use some peanuts or you could use some fresh granola. So I've got some granola here. You don't need that much. 
the granola is definitely gonna boost the sweetness just a little bit. And then lastly, just to exaggerate that black lining, watered a little bit, we're just going to sprinkle in some black sesame seeds. And voila. Quick taste test. You can never go wrong with a smoothie bowl. It's always gonna taste good. Mmm. And the crunch from the granola and the sesame seeds set it off just right. Mission complete. This is a banger. All right, guys, hope that you go out and try this recipe. It is a really good one, very simple. And remember, most importantly about this particular video is that you can get inspiration from just about anywhere. For me, I love colors and I love kicks, and so seeing the things come together really inspires me to use my creativity to make new things that are edible, that taste great, and that are also good for me. And this nature smoothie bowl is no exception. Just a quick caveat, I showed you all just the colors. I'm not saying that the quantities and the portions are actually exact. So yes, I put a whole bunch of fruit on top of the smoothie bowl. I'm not saying to go ahead and do that at all. You can go ahead and just add a little bit. I'm just trying to show you that, that nature and um, real foods in itself are really colorful. They're very vibrant. And so instead of using artificial flavoring and artificial coloring, you can just use the God made stuff that we already have here on earth. All right, guys, thank y'all so much for watching this episode of Kicks and Grubs. Hope that you're feeling inspired to go ahead and do something similar in your own kitchen, finding sources of inspiration wherever you may find it. Remember to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to ring that bell, ding, 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 so you can be notified every time we post hot new content here in the Fitman Cook Kitchen. From my kitchen to your kitchen, keep it healthy, but of course, never ever boring. Boom! Bye, y'all.